Hello everyone, welcome to CAD CAM C tutorials. In this video, we are going to design this propeller that you can see on the screen right now. So first we will create the hub of the propeller and then we will create the blades of the propeller and then we will make the pattern for the blades. So now let us start it. For making the hub, we will mainly use the revolve boss feature and for that first we have to create a close sketch. So first we will go to the sketch and select here the top plane. Now first we will insert here the center line like this. Now we will select the line and we will draw our sketch. First we will draw a random sketch and then we will give it the exact dimensions. Now we will go to the smart dimensions. Now this length is 86 mm. This length is 42 mm. This length is 58 mm. Now the distance between this and this that is 34 mm and the distance between this line and this line that is 4 mm the length of this vertical line is 24 mm Now our sketch is fully defined, so we will go to the features and select here the revolve boss feature and now we will click on ok. Now we will go to the sketch and select here this face, make it here normal. Now here we will draw two concentric circles like this ok now we will go to the smart dimensions this inner circle is 32 mm diameter and outer one is 52 mm diameter now we will go to the features and select here the extrusion cut feature and the depth of extrusion is 5 mm ok now we have to make the blades and for that we will go to the sketch and select here the top plane make it here normal now here we will draw one rectangle using the three point rectangles so select here three point rectangle and we will draw one rectangle like this ok now we will make the diagonals of the rectangle using the center lines so select here the red center line and make the diagonals like this so we can get the center point of the rectangle now here the center point of the rectangle and origin is vertical so select here vertical ok now we will go to the smart dimensions now this length is 40 mm and this length is 20 mm sorry 12 mm and now the angle between this edge and this side that is 74 mm 74 degree Now we will exit the sketch and the distance between the center of the rectangle from this side that is 29 mm. Now our sketch is fully defined so we will exit the sketch. Now we have to make another plane 
So we'll go to the features and select here the reference geometry. Select here the plane. Now we have to make a plane that is the parallel to the top plane and at a distance of 140 mm. Click on OK. Now we have to make another sketch on this plane. So we'll go to the sketch and make it here normal. Now here we will draw another sketch and for that we will use the center rectangle sorry three point rectangle and we will draw one sketch like this. Now we have to make the diagonals of this rectangle so we will use the center line. Now here the center of the rectangle and the origin should be vertical. So we will select here the center point and here the origin and make it here vertical. Okay. And same way the distance between the center of the rectangle and this edge is 29 mm. Now this side of the rectangle is 12 mm and this side of the rectangle that is 120 mm now the angle between this side and this edge So the angle is 14 mm, sorry 14 degree. Now we will exit the sketch. Now we will go to the features and select here the lofted boss feature. And here we will first select this curve or this rectangle. Then select this rectangle and then click on OK. Now we will use the fillet command. So select here the fillet and the radius of the fillet is 23 mm. Then select this edge and this edge and then click on OK. Now we will make this plane hide. So right click on this plane and select here hide. Now we have to use the fillet. So select here the fillet and fill radius is 5 mm. Then select here this edge and this edge. Ok. Now again we will select fillet and here the fillet radius is 3 mm. Now select this edge this edge, this edge and this edge ok now we will go to the sketch and first before that let us make the pattern for these blades so for making the blade we have used the lofted boss feature and we have used the fillet and this fillet now we will go to the features and select here the circular pattern. Now here we have to select the surface and the number of patterns is 6 and ok. Now after making this pattern, go to the sketch and select here this plane, make it here normal. Now here we have to make a circle of diameter 5 mm. And the distance of the center of the circle from the origin is 21 mm.
Now we'll go to the features and select here the extruded cut feature and select here through all. Okay. Now we have to make the pattern for this hole. So select this cut extrude. Then we'll go to the patterns and select the circular pattern. And here we have to select the surface and the number of pattern is 8 here so enter here 8 ok now again we will go to the sketch and select here this face make it here normal now here we have to draw one circle of diameter 20 mm then we will go to the features and select here the extruded cut feature and select here through all ok now our propeller is completed and we will give it appearance so select here this part go to the appearance and in the metal select here the brass and give it the polish brass hope you enjoyed the tutorial for more videos on SOLIDWORKS tutorials, subscribe to my channel KetCamC Tutorials. Thanks.